How y'all doing tonight? Tonight, we're going to make us a really good dish. It is a fettuccine cabanara, which is like a fettuccine alfredo, but it's richer. It's got um, prosciutto ham in it. It's going to have some pancetta. It's going to have some fresh gulf shrimp in there. It's my, my little touch, twist to it. It's going to be really, really good. First, I'm going to show you. We got these uh, fresh gulf shrimp here. I peeled about a, I don't know, about a pound and a half, maybe two pounds. I'm going to just season these a little bit before we get started. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil on them, about like that. Then, this is that blackening season I use a lot of times. Uh, it's that Cajun King. I just like this particular brand. It just hadn't failed me yet, so. I put about a half a package of that on there. We'll just stir these around. We'll just let these sit and get a good flavor on them. Meanwhile, while we get started on the rest of the dish. Okay, next step, what we're going to do, I've got some pancetta here. Beautiful pancetta. Basically Italian bacon. Alright, sliced real thin from the butcher's market. I've got my seal pack here. Now, if you can't find pancetta, you can use thin sliced bacon. Uh, seal pack, non stick on a cookie sheet. Got my oven heating to about 400. I'm just going to lay some of this out here like this. Okay. And this is going to cook in that oven. It's going to turn crispy, crispy. So I'm not lay some of them around it's like that. They cut it when they cut. They cut off a big roll of pancetta. It's like twisted bacon, all up one big roll. So make sure I don't get it. Single wide there. Because if you get too thick, it won't get crisp, crisp like it needs to get. So, we'll set all this here on there and we'll pop this in the oven. Okay, now I'm going to go pop this in the oven on about 400. And no, I don't know how long it's going to take, so we'll just watch it about every 10 minutes. Now, as for the rest of it, we won't make them to the crisp and put it here. We'll just chop it up. Let's see. Just kind of chop it there. And making the squares. We'll fry this off yet. It'll still be good, good. Alright? That's some wonderful stuff. Real fatty Italian bacon stuff. We'll just chop this. Oh, and I almost forgot. I also took a piece of prosciutto, which is just like an Italian ham, okay? This pancetta is like an Italian bacon. It's real fatty, real fatty. And the prosciutto is more like a ham. Uh, I chopped it up. I took a piece about a quarter pound thick slice, just like a big slice of ham, and I chopped it up. I'm going to put both these aside for right now and put them back in the refrigerator. Okay, now I've prepared some of the dry ingredients. I've got some thyme here, fresh thyme. I've got some busted up garlic. We've got some black pepper, just a hint of uh, Old Bay, and some dried Italian seasoning. We're going to use this for the sauce. It's going to be real, real good. Okay, so let's start on this beautiful sauce. Alright, the pan down here heating up. We've got about three cups of heavy cream. Put that down in there. Wow. Even good. I might put a little bit more heavy cream. Okay, for this batch, I ended up putting the whole, put a quarter of heavy cream in there. Alright, that'll be good though. Go ahead, like I said, put on low heat. I'm going to have my dry ingredients. Got this thyme. Put that thyme in there. Put the garlic. Busted up garlic. Pepper, Italian seasoning, and a little bit of old bag. We're just going to let that sit there and simmer. Okay. By the way, I just got that wonderful pan shut out. Now, about five minutes ago, I put it on this rack to get it just crisped up some more. But it's done. I'm going to set it aside. Now, like I said, I'm just going to bring this to a simmer. Just whisk all those wonderful ingredients in there. Let that simmer. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start this pasta. I just got some fettuccine. I started it on the back burner. See if I can get it open right make it look huge. Come on, come on, come on. 
Look at that. One everywhere. You see that there? Let's go ahead and try to lock that off in there somehow. Get my pasta stir. Push that down. And I salted that water earlier. It's having a little bit of flavor. Just gonna stir that every minute or so. Because that needs to cook for about 13 minutes. Okay. Now we're we'll back to this. I want to let you sit there, sit there and boil and separate. So you want to keep this stirred. Keep that good, good, good. Now this is for sure one of those meals where you got a bunch of stuff going at the same time. Alright, I got my, my cream sitting there simmering with all my, my spices and everything. Another pan over here getting ready for what we're about to do with the shrimp. Got my noodles rolling back over there. Got my macaroni. Got this here. I'm going to turn this guy down a little bit. That's for the finish. Don't worry about that right now. Don't need to be quite boiling. Then, over here, oh, I tasted one of those. Those are awesome. We got that. I got my shrimp standing by. Okay, so every time this almost comes to a boil, try some bubble, just give it a stir. Keep it stirring. What we're doing is we're just seeping all the flavor out of those fresh herbs and dried herbs in here, getting to that cream. Real, real good. Okay, now one thing about this dish, it's made to be presented and made. You, you can make it all ahead of time like I'm doing here but all the little components of each plate served really have to be put together right as it's served. It's not something you really can make a whole big pot of. You can make the sauce, and I'll show you in a minute, up to a certain point, then store a batch of it. Then you got your noodles. It's really best with fresh pasta. So what we're gonna do now, I've got the noodles over here. Let's see. I'm gonna take these noodles out shock them in some cold water and just keep those on the side going ready we've got this uh, the cream here we're going to strain it we get this cream ready to use in the next step okay so we'll strain these noodles Oh, that pot over this. Ow. All right. Now, we get some ice in this pot over here. I just pot. So we can zoom out a little bit. Get some ice in it. We'll put a little bit of kosher salt. Maybe a little bit more. Get some water. Basically, we'll make an ice bath for these noodles. A little bit of salt in there. We don't want them to lose all the flavor. But we don't want them to keep cooking. Go ahead. Pour these noodles back in. There we go. It's going to melt that ice fairly quickly, but that's alright. Here we go. Stir them around. These noodles will be fine. We'll bring them back to life here in the next step. That's just my way of doing it. I'm sure everybody already, oh no, I never put noodles in the water. It does wash some of the starch off. I mean, I wish there was another way to do it. Let me know if you have a way to keep them without them just sitting in that strainer and getting all sticky and gummy. So let's move on to the next step. This next step, I'm gonna strain this hot sauce with this, actually not sauce yet, it's just a uh, cream with the, uh, the herbs in it. We're gonna strain it off here into this uh, measuring cup. And I'm sorry if you can't see that well, but I can't do it the other way. And I'm spilling stuff everywhere. Okay. There we go. Strain that out. Let it cool for a minute. Okay, now let's get back to that wonderful pork. Go ahead, heat up the pan here. Let that pancetta. Let's go ahead, just render that on down. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, 
So we're just cooking this pancetta down and getting it nice and crisp. And we use one of them. Like I said, just push down to the slice some nice bacon. Keep moving around the pan. Okay, now that that's nice and browned down, I'm going to go ahead and try to scoop most of it out the pan. Put it on the side. We'll use that for a garnish. Now that we got most of that out the pan, go we'll ahead and add some of these, a uh, little bit of this uh, prosciutto. Oh yeah. Get it browned down. There's a little bit of oil about here. I tell you, you got to watch the smoke along all of it. Oh, nuts. Now see, it's, all, it's releasing a lot of oil real quick. That's good, that's good. Real good there. Now, let's hit it with uh, some onions. I've got a whole five sweet onions. Real good there. We're just going to stir this around so we, so we get these onions from the cook. Get some color on them. See how pretty that uh, contrasta got? Oh, wonderful. Italian bacon dip, I'll tell you. It's just picking up all that flavor off the pan, too. Turn this down about medium. Just let those onions get a little bit of caramelization on them. Real, real good. Okay, now that my onions got a little color on them, I'll go in with about three tablespoons of butter. Melt that down. We're gonna get ready to put shrimp on. Okay, now that the onions got a nice little color to them, let's go ahead and we'll add the shrimp. Oh yeah. Beautiful gulf shrimp. mess in here I tell you this is not this is really would be a lot easier like I said it's hard to do this and show you all in one pull if you prepare most of the stuff the day before or early the afternoon and just kind of put it all together so we'll do here in a few minutes but we're going to just incorporate these shrimp the shrimp cook pretty quickly as soon as they turn pink they're pretty much cooked. Let them simmer there for a minute. Okay, now these shrimp just look gorgeous. Oh, they're done. It's all just turned pink. You can see those onions kind of caramelized on them. Wonderful. I'm going to take these off the heat and go to the back with those beautiful shrimp. And get started on the rest of this dish. Those shrimp look fantastic. You see them like that. Okay, now for the grand finale, let's make up a serving. Let's get a little skill here, probably about medium heat. Take some more of this uh, prosciutto, not the pancetta, a little bit like that. And we'll, just to get it to cook, you just release some of that grease. Okay, so, start releasing a little bit of juice. I'm gonna get a little bit of this juice out of these shrimp too. Put in there. Give it a little something. A little bit more there. That wonderful butter. And we've got that, that fat from that bacon. The tag. Get that going. Now, we're going to put some cream in there. It's that mixture that we made, and then we stick the cream. Let's go back. Out a cup, turn it down a little bit. Turn it down. And take it off the heat for a second. Just let it incorporate all that goodness. Let it 
little bit more. Add a few of these bacon crumbs to it. So they go like that. Turn this down low. I'm going to put the pasta in there. Make sure it's draining good. A cup of that pasta. I'm going to stir this around. Now, incorporating everything into it. Looks wonderful. Set this on the back burner and just let it simmer on low, low. Before we do that, let me go ahead and add some Parmesan cheese. Fresh grated Parmesan. Okay. Good old big clump spool. Well, that's probably one of a couple big pinches. Let's get it mixed in with the sauce and with those noodles. Also, we'll add a few more of the bacon bits. Like that there. Yeah. Gonna be good. Let's go back to that back burner with it. I like my hand. Mm, mm, mm. All right, now I've got this pot here. I've got some water. What all I've got in this pot here? I've got some just regular water, a little bit of salt. And vinegar, some white vinegar, just a little bit, about a tablespoon or so. I'm gonna turn this up. I don't want it to get to a boil, but I want it barely simmering, okay? Now, I went ahead, I went ahead and get this thing working. I went ahead and turned that pasta off on the back burner. I don't want that to burn while I do this, okay? So let's get this up. This works barely to simmer, almost to boil. What we're gonna do, we're gonna poach an egg in here. So I'm gonna start stirring it. I'm gonna get it. Going, you got it going counterclockwise, it doesn't matter, just one particular direction. I'm stirring that water. Okay. I've got an egg cracked here in this little ramekin. Put this egg right there in the middle with the water. Alright. Now, I'm going to let that thing go in there, just kind of moving around like that. A little bit by the top, we're going to let it cook for about two minutes. Two or three. You don't want your water boiling for this. Make sure to keep it spinning just like that. You don't want to hit the egg with this little stirrer either. Alright, we're going to get some ice water. Now, when it's, when it's ready, you can see kind of turn a little bit not so opaque on the yolk side you just lower it down in some ice water and that stops the cooking that's all you need to do okay then we're going to drain this off okay so let's finish the pasta put the pasta back on here go ahead and get some shrimp in here get some of that juice too oh yeah Don't be shy of it Go ahead, strain some of that juice in there. That's some good stuff there. Alright, stir it in and see what it looks like. Turn this down. Oh, that's too hot. Got your shrimp. 
in there with the fettuccine and the wonderful ham. Looks good to me. We we'll put another shrimp or two in there. See a space missing. Let's get ready to plate this up. Okay, now I'm plating. Let's get this one. Oh, it's great. The shrimp, the fettuccine, and everything in there. Look at that. I'll tell you what. Can't beat that right there. Wow. Mm -hmm. Stove off over here. So I got that in. I'm going to take uh, a little bit more of this cheese. Put a little cheese on top. Maybe one or two of these smaller shrimp. Use the garnish. Trim. more here. Alright. A little more of this cheese. Now, remember that pancetta that we did earlier. We'll set that guy right down there. I'm going to get my poached egg. Freshly poached. Lay it right there on top of that piece of bacon. Oh yeah. Then we're gonna take some of that bacon, put over that egg, and over those shrimps. The idea is you cut in that egg and it mixes that yolk in with that sauce. And that's just wonderful. That is a wonderful looking dish right there, I tell you what. Alright, so let's give it a taste. Let's cut in this poached egg here. My goodness, seeping out. Well, if they say you just mix that on in to the pasta. It's just going to get that sauce. Tastes pretty good. Wow. There's something else. Amazing flavor colors to this. Everything. I'm going to get some of this pasta on my fork. Good try. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is outstanding. Bacon flavor. You can taste the cream. Taste, you, can, you can taste the shrimp, so I didn't even get a shrimp. Try that. Mm. That is awesome. Tell you what, though, if you make that cream up, you know. This uh, stuff right here, your heavy cream steeped with the vegetables in advance, it can be a lot easier to have your shrimp cooked or whatever. Just put everything together and make that last little thing, make the dish. But that is really good. No cutting corners there. That's an awesome dish.